Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm just starting off with primer, and the primer that I'm using right now is the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Primer, and applying that to all areas of my face. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's the Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color Buff Beige, or 130, and applying that with a beauty blender. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Ivory and applying it to any areas on my face that I want to appear brighter. Then I'm going in with a beauty blender of course to blend it all out. Then I'm going in with the Alley Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and applying that to any areas of my face that I want to bronze up. Now I'm taking the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder and I'm going to use this powder to set any areas that I concealed. Transitioning over to eyebrows, I'm just taking any spoolie and brushing my hairs upward. And then I'm starting to fill them in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. Now I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Custard and applying it to the bottom of my eyebrow as well as the top just to simply clean them up. I'm going to use my finger to blend out the concealer because the natural warmth in your finger will help to melt the product better into your skin. And then I'm dragging it down onto my eyelid to act as an eyeshadow primer. Then I'm taking the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder and setting my eyelids. Then I'm going in with the Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking this tannish color here and then using that as a transition color. Now I'm 
taking this orange color here and I'm applying that to my crease just a little below my transition color Now to build up the intensity, I'm taking this even darker orange color and applying that right over the previous color in my crease. At this point, I'm just taking another brush to blend out all of the colors that I applied into my crease. Hi. Now I'm taking these two red colors and I'm mixing them together and then I'm applying that just below my crease. Now I'm going into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to take the color Venetian Red and I'm going to focus this color on the outer V of my eyelid. And then with whatever product I have left, I'm going to slowly drag it in towards the inner corner of my tear duct, but mostly focusing it on the outside of my eyelid. Now from the same palette, I'm going to take the color Love Letter and I'm just going to sweep that through my crease. So I'm taking the color Venetian Red and a different brush and I'm just patting that on the outer and inner corner of my eyelid. I'm taking the color Primavera and then with a synthetic brush I am going to apply that to the middle of my eyelid. I did spray my brush with the MAC Prep and Prime, the MAC Fix Plus, so that way the color appears more pigmented once I apply it to my eyelid. Then I'm taking some more of that Venetian Red color and then sweeping it towards the middle of my eyelid to blend the two colors together. I'm taking the color Venetian Red and Love Letter and applying that beneath my lower lash line. I'm taking that color Primavera and applying that beneath my lower lash line as well, but focusing it only on the middle of my lower lash line. Taking the color Dubai from the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette and I'm applying that beneath my lower lash line, but not where I applied the gold color. I'm taking my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and I'm using that as an inner corner highlight for my eyes. I'm just 
curling my eyelashes and applying mascara before I apply my falsies. The falsies that I'm applying are from the TARDIS Pro Collection and they're called Little Black Dress. So now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm just sweeping away any loose powder that's still on my face. And then I'm going to bronze up my face using the Lisa Frank Glamour Dolls Bitten and Bronzed Matte Bronzer. I actually received this bronzer in one of my Ipsy bags and I am a really big fan of it so I need to look into buying the full size version because I just have the little sample version right now and I'm already running out so yeah if you guys are looking for a new bronzer I would really recommend this one it's really nice and it blends out really well. So now I'm just taking this ColourPop highlighter in the color Wisp and then I'm taking a beauty blender and applying that to the high points of my cheeks. I'm taking this e.l.f. blush palette and I'm mixing these two colors and applying that as my blush. I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just applying that to my nose. Then from the Shade and Light palette, I'm taking this metal color here and then I'm going to use that color to contour my nose. Moving on to lips, I'm taking the Anastasia Lip Palette and I'm going to take this dark color here and I'm going to apply that to the outer parts of my lips. So the darker color is going to be applied to the outer part of my lip and then the, the brighter red will be applied in the middle of my lip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend the colors together to, um, to create sort of an ombre effect and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So now I'm just taking that brighter red that I was talking about and I'm just lining the middle of my lips with that color as well as filling them in with that color. So now I'm just blending the two colors together. I'm taking the darker color and I'm blending it more towards the middle of my lips to kind of give it that ombre effect. And then I just keep blending until I'm satisfied. So now I'm just applying some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I did apply MAC Fix Plus as a setting spray at the end but for some reason I can't find the footage to that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Somebody on their way, holla. I would've grown a day, holla. Somebody can't relate, holla. Stay down when I'm faking. Go up, top down, I've been racing. Go up, she wild, I'm in danger. Go up, my crowd in rotation, yeah.